Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so week 5 Eternity of Pain is here and as always our solo objectives are based on classes. So I'm not going to explain exactly how they work, I'm sure all of you already know. And unlike my regular guides, I'm not going to show you an example of a solo fight because you already have seen all of these fights taken multiple times on my streams or in my previous guides and pretty much the same things kind of apply. Instead of that, I will do a very, very brief breakdown of each of these fights and then I will show you the best options and team building uh, setups in a sense and explain what was my strategy in doing these as well in order to get all the objectives done in two runs as a Paragon player or as a Thronebreaker player you can get it all done in one run. The cool thing about the first fight, Havoc, is that you can use pretty much anyone here and the reason for that is that any champion or almost any champion <laughs> upon successful parry gains an armor up. So vast majority of the champions will work for this fight, perhaps with the exception of champions who can't gain buffs at all, like Titania, Ant-Man, Spider-Man 2099, so, so on. And champions like Tigra, who reduce the ability accuracy of this node. Uh, but well, if a champion doesn't inflict energy damage, or doesn't inflict shock and debuffs of similar nature, like Cold Snap, for instance, you will probably be fine here with virtually any champion or majority of the champions so that's a good thing nick fury fight's quite simple in a sense as well because you can get it done with majority of the champions who do not get disabled by clapback node meaning if you are using a champion that inflicts debuffs on opponent you better be immune to those same debuffs or have some sort of benefit from using that other than that you only need to obviously be worried about the block damage and the fact that burnout is there. So when upon, when he uses special attacks, if you have a debuff on you, he will not be losing power and you're going to have to wait quite a bit. So champions like Kingpin, for instance, won't work. Mo many champions with Liquid Courage, Double Edge Masteries won't work there either. Then we have Terex. Terex is a fairly straightforward find. There's nothing too special about Terex. It's basically just a big Terex with dash vulnerability, ebb and flow intercept and special delivery and then the final one is scorpion scorpion is the most recent one so the entire point of this fight is it messes with your power in most cases the best thing to do is just build up to level three take a burst of damage and just not use special attacks there are few champions that can bypass that like archangel for instance completely lowering ability accuracy of this guy but this is quite recent as well so I don't think much further breakdown is necessary. But let's break it down all together. So here's a little, little spreadsheet that I made. And this is by no means a comprehensive list. What I personally did is I did one run using only mutant champions. Because uh, Apocalypse in itself pretty much can handle all the fights. And so can Kitty. And Archangel obviously is really really great for scorpion so that was exactly my team apoc kitty and archangel apoc soloed havoc apoc goes disorient immune and bleed immune against nick so that fight is very easy and doable and then you can use apoc or kitty for terax and apoc or kitty for scorpion or archangel which is what i did so this was my team for one of my runs or alternatively, you can do all the fights also with the team of Cosmics. Hercules pretty much does all the fights here. Proxima can do most of the fights here. CGR can do all the fights here. And Odin pretty much can do all the fights here. So you can also do a full run with only Cosmics. And then use whatever other classes you want. It so happens that in this particular Eternity of Pain, you have Cosmic and Mutant Champions who perform the best. Those are definitely two champions or two classes that were more dominant. And the rest of the classes, they always can do like one or two fights. And again, there are more champions, obviously, that can get these fights done. It's just kind of like the most used champions, I suppose, or the most useful champions or the ones that were on top of my head. Anyways, and uh, we can see that Omega Sentinel, perfectly capable of dealing with Havoc, perfectly capable of dealing with Scorpion. 
Guillotine 2099 can do several of these fights, like against Nick Fury, against Havoc, against Harpian. If you are looking for somebody in tech class, then there are a few mystics that can do a handful of fights. I'm sure there are more. Again, I'm not saying that these are only options. Please do not approach the comment section with like, well, this champion can nuke it all. I understand that I don't know all. I haven't had time to test every champion or go over every possibility. If there are champions that are missing from this list and are doing amazing, then please go ahead and note it in comment section. But uh, again, do not kind of like be shocked that there is something missed out or left out of these lists because again, I'm only one person. I have had limited amount of time. And then another champion that does great for several of the fights is Kingpin. Kingpin can handle Terex extremely well. Kingpin can handle Havoc extremely well. Kingpin apparently can do Scorpion as well, but that's that. Then we have <clears throat> Taskmaster, who I know is not a very popular champion, but is legitimately great for the vast majority of these fights. I think he can, to be honest, do Terex too. He can definitely do Scorpion quite well. Nick Fury as well, because he can go debuff immune. And Havoc also, because he goes completely debuff immune. And then in Science, we have I-Bomb, Joe Fixit, and like Titania, plus Captain America Infinity War, and Quicksilver is kind of like the best representatives of those classes. But again, overall, you can basically just mainly rely on Mutant and Cosmic Champions. One thing you do not want to do is mix these two together. You do not want to go in with a team of like two mutants and one cosmic champion, because then you make it a lot harder on yourself. You want to keep these two classes separate from each other. Because most of well, most of the popular cosmic champions can do majority of the fights there as listed. And then if you want to bring in a specialized counter for some other fight, fair enough. And it's similar to mutant champions. It would be a great waste and you would be making things a lot harder if you did one run with these two classes, for instance, and then try to do a run with the other four. Mutants can handle this by themselves, and so can Cosmics. But yeah, most importantly, do not mix match these ones in a single run. Again, you can use up to three classes in one clear and still end up with being able to clear it in two runs. But you don't really have to do it in this case. Um, because, yeah, as I said, Cosmics and Mutants do all the heavy lifting in this quest. Now, if you de need any more examples of the fights and guides, just type in KT1 EOP in your search bar and you will see all of my previous guides. You will see all of my previous live streams. And also, I will link the live stream that I did earlier today for week five. I did an itemless run, I think, with Cosmics. I think I used like a revive or two with Mutants just because uh, I had some items expiring and uh, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, but uh, you can definitely get all of this done itemless completely as well as I did one of my runs itemless too. And then I just kind of started messing around and testing some other champions. But that is it for now. I hope you guys found this useful. I will... Once again, yeah, you guys can see pretty much all of it. Yeah, this is all of it. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it. And yeah, uh, if you did enjoy the video, if you found it useful, forward it to your friends. Maybe they can find it useful too. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the good buttons. And I'm going to catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next...